although limited, Wallis formula is a sure and short method of integrating functions involving powers of sines and cosines. Welcome to Integral Calculus. Just what is Wallis' formula? This equation has been named after John Wallis to show a product which involves infinite number of terms with the sine function, where the limits are from 0 to pi over 2. Placing the formula's definition in mathematical terms, it starts with an integrand, with sine of x raised to m and cosine of x raised to n dx with limits from 0 to pi over 2. Wallis' formula is a ratio, where the denominator is the iteration of the summation of the exponents, times m plus n minus 2, until the total boils down to 2 or 1. There are two terms in the numerator. One is from the exponent of sine, which is iterated as m less 1, times m less 3, iterated until it reaches 2 or 1. This is multiplied with the same process, but using the exponent of cosine. At the end of the formula is denoted with alpha, which is determined from two cases. 1. If both m and n exponents are even numbers, alpha is taken as pi over 2. If n or n turns as odd, then take alpha as 1. Take note that the exponents are reduced by consecutive but same parity numbers. With the long formulation, let's interpret it shorter in a different way. The first condition where m and n are even. Then the formula will be multiplied by pi over 2. The formula is m less 1 double factorial multiplied by n minus 1 double factorial all upon the summation of m and n double factorial, then multiply pi over 2. Double factorial is the iteration of each exponent following similar parity. In the same account, the formula for case 2 is m minus 1 double factorial times n minus 1 double factorial over m plus n double factorial times 1. Here are some examples to showcase the procedure. First, let's integrate the square of sine x times cosine x raised to 4 dx. With both exponents as even numbers, we use case 1 formula. Plugging in m and n, we get the double factorial of 2 minus 1 times 4 minus 1 double factorial over 2 plus 4 double factorial multiplied by pi over 2. The expression is then iterated as 1 for m. Then multiply the iteration of n as 3 times 1 over the summation which is 6 and the iteration as 4 and 2. Don't forget to multiply everything by pi over 2. 3 can then be reduced with 6 to have the definite integral as pi over 32. The second example includes sine y raised to 4 times cosine of y raised to 7 dy with limits from 0 to pi over 2. Having 7, an odd number as an exponent, we use case 2 Wallis formula. Have the double factorial of 4 minus 1 times 7 minus 1 double factorial, then the ratio is the double factorial of 4 plus 7. Everything is multiplied by 1. 
Next is to expand the factorials and get 3 times 1 for m and 6 times 4 times 2 for n. The denominator has 4 plus 7 which is 11. Then the factorials are 9 times 7 times 5 times 3 and 1. Cancel out 3s, then 6 and 9 can be reduced. So the final definite integral for the function is 16 over 1,155. The third and fourth examples contain single functions, either sine only or cosine. First is the integral of sine x raised to 6 dx. Having a single function, this is like having cosine raised to 0. So from case 2 Wallis formula, we can take the double factorial of 6 minus 1 only in the numerator. Then the denominator is the double factorial of 6. Expand the factorials as 5 times 3 times 1 over 6 times 4 times 2. Then multiply pi over 2. Reduce 3 and 6 to have 5 pi over 32. Another single function example is taking the integral of cosine y raised to 7 dy with limits from 0 to pi over 2. With only cosine in the function, sine is already taken as just 1. So the case of Wallis is completely dependent on sine, having 7 minus 1 double factorial over 7 double factorial. The factorial is expanded as 6 times 4 times 2, then the denominator has 7 with 5 times 3 times 1. From here, reduce 6 and 3 to have the definite integral of cosine y raised to 7 as 16 over 35. Example 5 shows the procedure when the upper limit is not pi over 2. Solve the integral of sine of 2x raised to 6 dx from 0 to pi over 4. Before using Wallis formula, a transformation should be made to pi over 4. By using substitution, let u equal to the unit 2x and its derivative is 2 dx. So dx is then du over 2. With the expression, transformation should also be done with the limits. Using u as 2x, we consider the original lower limit as 0 and u is twice of 0, which is still 0. The upper limit has x of pi over 4. So its transformation is twice of pi over 4 and that is pi over 2. Now change the excess in the function into use. So the transform integral is sine of u raised to 6 times du over 2 from the limits of 0 to pi over 2. Take the constant out so the integral becomes half of the integral of sine u raised to 6 times du. Now that all configurations for the Wallis formula are met, we can integrate using case 1 with pi over 2. With the double factorials, the integral becomes half of 6 minus 1 double factorial over the double factorial of 6 times pi over 2. Expand the factorials to make half of 5 times 3 times 1 over 6 times 4 times 2 multiplied by pi over 2. Reduce 3 and 6 to have the final definite integral as 5 pi over 64. Example 6 requires the antiderivative of sine of 4x raised to 4 times cosine of 2x raised to 5 dx. The limits are from 0 to pi over 4. There are a number of transformations required for this function. One is the upper limit of pi over 4. And second 
is the different angles of sine and cosine. The first step is to make the two angles the same by taking the angle of sine, which can be written as twice of 2x. This can be interpreted as double angle. So, using double angle identities, use sine of 2 theta as equal to twice of sine theta cosine theta. The integral then becomes twice of sine of 2x cosine of 2x raised to 4 multiplied by cosine of 2x raised to 5 dx. Expand the terms and get 16 times sine of 2x raised to 4 multiplied by cosine of 2x raised to 9 dx. After fixing the angles, work with the upper limit using substitution. u is assigned for 2x, so the derivative is 2dx, making dx equal to du over 2. Turn the limits into u's using u equal to 2x. For the new lower limit, if x is 0, u is then twice of 0, which is 0. For the upper limit, plug pi over 4 for x in u, making it pi over 2, the exact upper limit required. Substitute all u's into the expression, making it sine of u raised to 4 times cosine of u raised to 9 multiplied by du over 2. The constant is placed outside the integrand. Also inject the new lower and upper limits. Bring out 1 half and get 8 times the integral of sine of u raised to 4 times cosine of u raised to 9 du from 0 to pi over 2. Now that the function is compliant with the required configuration of Wallis formula, we can proceed to integration using the second case as there is an odd numbered exponent. So we have 8 times double factorial of 4 minus 1 times the double factorial of 9 minus 1 over 4 plus 9 double factorial. Expand the factorials as 3 times 1 multiplied by 8 times 6 times 4 times 2 over the long factorial of 13 with 11 times 9 times 7 and 5 with 3 then times 1. Now cancel the 3's and have the final integral coming out as 1024 over 15,015.